One of the best ways to store your miniatures is to use magnets to keep them fixed in place. Today I'm looking at Green Stuff World's magnetic foil stickers. These make magnetizing your models super easy. Now, several channels have already gone through details on how to make yourself a magnetic storage solution, so I'm not going to go over that today, but they always glue small magnets underneath the models. So today I'm going to talk about using these magnetic stickers instead. It comes in an A4 plastic pack. Uh, this pack I'm opening has the 32 millimeter circles. Just getting it open there. Yeah, so the circles. And then, as you can see, they've got lots of different options. So you can get them in uh, squares or circles or ovals, and they've got a number of different sizes. Okay, here it is. So, yeah, it's just a sheet with a bunch of circles in it. They have used the space well with these, uh, fitting in a good number of circles. Uh, but there are some gaps. Now, at the end of this, don't throw away what you've left over. That will come in useful. Okay, here we've got a Blood Bowl Lizardman. So this is just a, a normal slot base. As you can see, it fits exactly onto the 32 millimeter base, or onto the, the sticker. So we're gonna peel one of these off. Now, you might see as these come off, there are a little bit of glue residues around the edge. It doesn't always come off cleanly. Okay, and I'm gonna try, put it down onto the base. So I'm gonna try align it using my fingers. So just pop it in place there, nice and easy. Now, it does come over the edge slightly. This is because the edge has an angle, whereas the stickers are straight, and there are bits of glue. Now, you can trim those off easily enough if you, if you want to, you don't have to, uh, with a knife. And then uh, what I like to do is I like to paint over them afterwards. All right, we're gonna actually take these guys out. They have not been stickered up yet. And we're going to pop this Lizardman into the box just so we can we can see it in action. There's a bunch of other Blood Bowl miniatures that are already magnetized in here. Oh, the skin you can see is already loose. All right, so let's... And there he is. So nice and secure, not moving around. Looking good. All right, so it's, it's, it's really simple to apply and gets the job done. All right, now let's look at taking them off. So you can see this troll's a little wobbly. You gotta be careful with miniatures. Miniatures could become damaged uh, if you're not careful because obviously they've got a secure connection to the, the tray. This guy just comes off nice and cleanly. That's a good one. Okay. Here is one of the problems that I have had with these. There we go. So this is a slotter base. The slotter base is basically sticking to this just on the edges which means the connection isn't as great as it could be. Now you could improve this by adding some green stuff underneath, or if you already have, you know, resin bases, uh, that'll make it, a, a, like they, they'll have a full connection, so that it'll be a stronger connection. The problem here is the connection of the sticky to the base is less than the magnet connection uh, into the box. Right, again, bit of a wiggle on this guy. It's probably best to uh, hold it by the base rather than a miniature, just in case. Uh, that one is good though. And like here we can see with Griff, it's the same problem. Look, the, the connection's coming off. So that is peeling off. So that, that is definitely an issue I found with these. It's only going to affect these kind of GW style bases. And that's me pushing off the side to so I've got a slight gap at the edge there. It wasn't originally intended, but it does mean when I slide the model over, the, the magnetic connection is reduced, which makes it a little bit easier to get out. So that's kind of a, a nice tip to know. But you're using these, they are strong connections. You want to make sure you do it by the bases. That guy wasn't already glued, so that's fine. All right, here's my Croxagore. So again, you can see a bit of a wobble in the, the, the miniature because it's a secure connection to the box. So we're going to move them by the base. I'm going to lift them off. So this is a 40 millimeter, so it's a lot stronger. And as you can see, I've trimmed it, and I've painted it, and I've ended up varnishing it as well. So that's a relatively clean connection. All right, let's sum this up. Despite the problems we've seen, I really like these. They are easy to apply, and they keep your model super secure in the box. The two places they fall down are in looks and in the connection to the model. To get a good look, you'll want to trim it after applying and then paint it. To make a secure connection, you'll want to add a little bit to it, uh, like maybe some green stuff underneath, uh, or maybe applying some super glue. 
Considering this is supposed to be making things easier, that is a frustration, but if you're doing all this during assembly anyway, it's not that bad. If you already have flat bases, like these resin bases I use for my Black Templars, then these are actually better than your normal magnets. It saves you having to drill into the base. In this case, you can see I've used some of the leftover scrap, which doesn't look great from underneath, but you can't see it from up top. It keeps this bike nice and secure in the box. So, despite the flaws, they get a thumbs up from me. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment. The goal of this channel is to give the best two-player experience we can for these games, so if that's something you'd like to see more of, subscribe to the channel.